What happens when America's first 12-minute spacewalk turns into 23 minutes of heart-pounding history? Mission Control starts to yell at you is what happens. But that was just part of what made the Gemini 4 mission so historic. Launched on June 3, 1965, Gemini 4 was NASA's second manned spaceflight in the Gemini program. Its main objectives were simple, yet groundbreaking. Conduct the first American spacewalk, validate rendezvous techniques, and extend our knowledge of living and working in space for longer durations. Astronauts James McDivitt and Ed White piloted this ambitious mission, and oh boy, did they make history. Let's dial back the cosmic clock a bit. The mid-1960s was smack in the middle of the space race and the heat was on. The Soviet Union had already pulled off the first ever spacewalk with cosmonaut Alexei Leonov in March 1965. The US wasn't about to let this challenge go unanswered, so NASA planned Gemini 4 with its bold aim of achieving America's own extravehicular activity. Ed White was cast as NASA's spacewalking trailblazer and the anticipation was astronomical. Once they reached orbit, their initial task was to rendezvous with their Titan II booster rocket's second stage. That turned out to be a lot tougher than expected. With only two running lights and no radar to gauge distance, they decided to focus on their main objective, the spacewalk. The prep for this spacewalk was no joke. White went through a whopping 54-item checklist. He even triple-checked the camera. You don't want to be known as the guy who went on a spacewalk and forgot to take off the lens cap. There was an even moment of panic when his hatch wouldn't unlatch over Australia but after some clever maneuvering, he managed to pry it open. He radioed back as he floated outside while being tethered to the capsule. The first thing Ed saw was the stunning blue of the Pacific Ocean and the islands of Hawaii. He wasted no time testing his handheld maneuvering gun, which worked perfectly for a few minutes. The gas ran out quickly, leaving White to float around tethered to the spacecraft. We're ready to have you get out whenever you're ready. Okay, we've got to go now, is that right? Affirmative. Okay, we're still doing a little work right here. Roger, understand. Get it. Am I in your view, Jimbo? Yeah, you know, I can't see it, I'm afraid to. Don't stop, I'm rolling to the right now. It's under my own influence. There goes this. Looks like a thermal glove, Jim. It is, Ed. All right. Now I've come across the space there. Make that flag look pretty. Yep. Okay, I'm right by the, I'm right by the stud antenna now. Okay. Let me, let me get some moves for you, Ed. Inside the capsule, McDivitt had his hands full, keeping Gemini 4 steady. The long tether kept tugging White towards the rear, where the spacecraft's thrusters were spewing some pretty nasty chemicals. White certainly didn't want any of that on his suit. As mesmerizing as Ed White's spacewalk was, it couldn't last forever. Initially planned for a modest 12 minutes, White's EVA lasted a heart-stopping 23 minutes. The kind of time warp when you're having too much fun. Communication between the astronauts and mission control was tricky because the Gemini's voice-activated system often cut off ground messages. Capcom Gus Grissom struggled to get through. Gemini 4, Houston. You know, Ed, the thing about the reference you were talking about looks like it's near right. Yeah, you don't even need one. Gemini 4, Houston, Capcom. Gus, this is Jim. Uh, what, got any memories for us? The flight director says get back in. Uh, okay. okay. Well, where are we over now, Jim? I don't know. We're coming over to the west, west end. They want you to come back in now. Back in? Back in. Roger. Right, we've been trying to talk to you for a while here. Come on in. White, who described the experience as the most natural feeling, heeded the call. It's the saddest moment of my life, he confessed, before finally clambering back into the capsule. They did it, the hatch was sealed. The first American EVA concluded at 3.10 p.m., about 36 minutes after it started. White had experienced condensation in his helmet and sweat in his eyes, but it didn't matter. He'd made history. 
Ed White's 21-minute spacewalk was a massive success. The images of White floating against the backdrop of Earth became iconic. It was a huge boost for the U.S. space program, setting the stage for future spacewalks and eventually the moon landing. 